everybody. Listen up. How are you today? I would rather be nowhere than here right now. Honestly, I feel like I was sitting in your shoes a couple years ago. Huh. Well, maybe a few more years than that. Um, thinking about what kind of relationship I wanted to be in. I dreamed of this perfect relationship, right, where we were so in love, and I was treated nicely, and my guy told me I looked beautiful every single day. And that didn't happen. Why? If you talk, I'm gonna call you out. Let's go. This is, this is really important, you know why? Because. I'm on TV, I write books, I'm doing a movie, I practice law, I'm a divorce lawyer, but I have given all that up to come to talk to you today. Really important stuff, toxic relationships. And because of my experiences, I wanna be honest and impart them to you so you don't make the same mistakes. But I wanna tell you a story before I start. I have a very, very good friend, and they live in California. And she was driving in a Ferrari with her boyfriend, and they had the greatest relationship, we thought. She's gorgeous, she's got all the money in the world, diamonds, tattoos, drinking every night. He's a top rapper, singer. I mean, they really had it all. Everyone thought, and it really kind of envied their relationship. But one night, in a car, she got beat up. Black and blue, big lip. You may all know who she is. Oh. She didn't find love in a, in a strange place, did she? She found love in the wrong place, at the wrong time, right? Unfortunately, we all, millions of people witnessed the most unthinkable, her getting beat up. No one ever expected it, no one anticipated it, and it was the worst, darkest day of her life. And I don't ever want that to happen to any of you. And what happened, by the way, recently? Did you hear that they were getting back together? Yeah. Now she's with Drake, I heard. But before that, why would you get back together with someone that beat you up? Why? What? Money? She has her own money. look like. That people don't beat each other up, they don't disrespect each other. I don't care if it's an accident, it happens out of anger, it happens once and they say it'll never happen again. That is not true. Okay? That's not what love looks like. You want to invite people that a person in your life, whether it's your friend, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your parents relationship, you want to draw on good skills and values. Telling someone that they look amazing, not beating them up so they look horrible, that they have to go to the hospital. Uplifting somebody when yet they had a good day. Giving them a compliment, not tearing them down, okay? We all need self-worth. I don't care who you are, Rihanna, anybody sitting in this auditorium, if you have low self-esteem and you don't believe that you are worthy, you will invite that kind of love into your life. And that is a horrible way to live. Because I don't know if you all remember O.J. Simpson. I don't know if you guys are too young. But he allegedly killed his wife, his ex-wife. Well, I'm very good friends with Nicole's sister, the woman O.J. allegedly killed. And I can tell you that Denise Brown, every single day for the last 15 years, cries every day she wakes up because her sister's gone. That's called domestic violence gone too far. And I'm not here to shock your conscience, but that's what I do all day long. I divorce people that are miserable because they have horrible relationships and marriages. I protect people that have been uh, victims of domestic violence, and it's not pretty. And by the way, domestic violence doesn't only happen to women. Men are abused emotionally and physically. I represented a man who had two black eyes when he came in to me, and his wife took a bat and beat him over the head, and he was almost killed. So, 
Remember that. That's really important. But the value system that you all place on your relationships is so crucial. Are you currently right now in a relationship that makes you feel good? Are you, as Pharrell Williams says, happy? No? So why are you in that relationship? Right? Why? Somebody makes you feel bad about yourself, does that mean that's a good relationship to be in? I don't think so. We want people not to be jealous. Are you in a relationship right now where your boyfriend or girlfriend won't let you hang out with your friends, won't let you wear a tight dress, tells you what to do, makes you feel inadequate or inferior? Is somebody trying to change who you are? Because let me tell you right now, there's only one you. You better embrace your imperfections because nobody is perfect. You may pretend you are, you may be the prettiest in school, the most popular. To me, popular means being nice to everybody. That is attractive to me. I think at your age, you all have these stigmas. You have to be cool, you have to hang out with the cool crowd. You have to drink, you have to do drugs, I hope you don't. But you have to do what you want to do. Not what everyone else wants you to do. Pure pressure. I hope that all of you know that you have your own decisions to make in life. Nobody owns you but you. I have a 19 year old brother and he came home to me and said, you know, Vicki, I was really interested in this girl and everyone was saying she was ugly. And I said, well, who cares what everyone else thinks? What do you think? He's like, I think she's the most beautiful girl I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm like, Let's go get her some chocolates, roses, whatever you kids do, and we're gonna go get, you're gonna give it to her, and you know what, they're dating and they have the best relationship. Why? Because he didn't listen to anybody else. He listened to his own feelings, his heart, what he was telling himself to do. You can't be persuaded by other people's opinions. Because you know why? They're really none of your business. Do you understand that? If somebody else gives you an opinion, it's none of your business, because it's their opinion, right, wrong, or indifferent, right? Who cares what they have to say, quite frankly? What do they know? I get emails all over the country when I'm on TV. Oh, Vicky, I didn't like your outfit that day. <laughs> oh, really? Are you my stylist? I don't think so. Delete. You can't take things personally because it's other people's opinion, right? That's all it is. Put it in a box. That's nice, I, I'm glad you think that way. This is what I think. Always check in with yourself. How are you feeling? What are you thinking? Does somebody make you feel good? Does somebody compliment you? Does somebody buy you something because they really like you, support you and want the best? Or are they using you? Or are they, do they have their own issues? Are they selfish? Are they codependent? Really, what's going on in the relationships that you actually have now or you're thinking about? Or maybe you want to give your friends some advice because they're in really bad relationships and you don't want it to, them to end up having to call the police, right? Or going through something that Rihanna went through or any of the other people that you read about. So let's talk about another layer. So we're talking about relationships within your peer group. All of you, I presume, were raised in fantastic homes. Unfortunately, I have great parents, but they weren't great husband and wives. They weren't a great spouse. So unfortunately, when I was raised, my parents got divorced when I was 12. It was the worst time of my life. The police were there. I was an only child at the time, and I really had self-esteem issues. My parents fought for custody over me, and I had to go tell the judge who I wanted to live with. So. You know, when I was at 12, I don't know really what you're thinking, but I was like, all right, listen, I'm an only child. You can't split me in half, so give me one week with my dad and one week with my mom, and they'll be happy. And that's what the judge did. And from that time, I always wanted to be a lawyer because I wanted to help children go through custody cases. The problem is everyone forgot about me. I was the one that was troubled. I was the one that was really asking to be in relationships that were unhealthy because I was looking for love in all the wrong places, right? When you're wounded and you're a victim and you have a problem because you come from a broken family, you have all these feelings that are displaced that really aren't true, but you really got to get right. You got to get on the right path. 
So, my parents got divorced. What do you think happened to me? Did I get happily married? And am I still happily married? Of course, I'm happy now. What happened to me? I had to get divorced, right? I got married to the wrong guy, attracted the wrong personality, because I thought love looked different. I thought love looked like, if you're mean to me, then that means you love me. Tell me I'm not pretty. Be mean to me, embarrass me. Be jealous, don't let me out of the house. Those are all good things, right? Fantastic. Of course not. So I got divorced in my 20s. Can you believe that? How old am I? I'm not telling. Um, and what happened? I had to go through the embarrassment, I thought, of being a divorce attorney, going through my own divorce. How mortifying is that? I'm sitting here telling clients, oh my God, I'm gonna give you the best divorce advice, but I couldn't take it. So I had to learn through therapy, through reading books, through talking to uh, the people around me in the religious community, social workers, my mentors, to figure out that I am so worthy of love that I would never, ever let anyone mistreat me again. It's like a shield that comes up. Once you feel confident about yourself, you cannot penetrate it. And that took a long time for me. So it's really important. I'm trying to give you some of the wisdom and unfortunate circumstances that I went through, that I really had to navigate through, so you don't do the same things that I did. If any of you come from a broken home, you have only one parent, your parents are divorced, remember, you take the good from the way you're raised and don't emulate the bad. You can make yourself a great relationship. You could be a great girlfriend or boyfriend, husband or wife one day. And trust me, when you have children, and I know you think that's like so far away, you would never want them to mistreat a girl or a boy perhaps the way you're being mistreated. Don't tolerate anybody doing anything to you that feels uncomfortable. If you're afraid of the person that you're with, if they're too codependent and they don't want to let you go out with your friends, step back and say, is this really the kind of relationship I want to be in? That's not what love looks like. Just because they're good looking, and trust me, I have dated some really good looking guys. And you all look very attractive out here. However, woo! However, you know what they say? Don't judge a book by its cover. Looks, let me tell everybody something. Looks fade. How you act inside never goes away. I'd rather be with a great person who's awesome and nice and kind and smart and bright and wants to take over the world and there's charity than good looking. That could be one of the biggest lessons that I give anyone here today. Because good looking is in the eye of the beholder. Because I see some adorable people in this audience that you all may say it isn't. So remember that. It's really important. Calling people names, embarrassing them because you don't like what they're wearing, what they look like, what their eye color is, they have glasses on. You're imperfect just like everybody else. Right? Or are you all perfect? Close? Who's close? Raise your hand. You're close? Why? How, tell me how come you're close. Give me a better, better answer than that. What makes you close to being perfect? Yeah, we were all born here. We were. What else? Tell me something else. What makes you fantastic? A friend? Tell, help me. What is he? He's nice? Oh my God. Being nice is awesome. Is everyone in here nice or do we have some mean girls and guys? Pissed off 
yourself about something, you take it out on other people, you didn't get a good grade, I don't know, you don't like your hair today, he, he does that? Okay. Let me tell you something. I could talk to you guys for days because I have a lot of information to give you. They only gave me, I think I only have five minutes left with you. So, I know. I really want you all to be in fantastic relationships with your parents, with your boyfriends and girlfriends, and with your friends. I want you to be the best you. Know your self-worth, because when you do, you don't give anybody a discount. Right? That's really the key. You need to be worthy. And takeaway for, for today is what does worthy mean? You're way cooler than you think. Oh, you're over bad behavior, and you're not going to accept it from anybody. Or you respect yourself. If you respect yourself, no one can disrespect you. T, speak the truth and trust your instincts. And, and H, I want everyone to say at the same time what I want you all to be. One, two, three. Because at the end of the day, no, really, seriously, at the end of the day, you all probably want a lot of money. I don't know, you want to drive a Bugatti. You know, all the ladies, you want to wear nice things, look like Selena Gomez, whoever you want to look like. I don't know. At the end of the day, if you're not happy, if you're not happy, what's life worth? Be in a happy relationship with yourself. Don't beat yourself up. Get good grades. Focus on your career. Be hungry for success. And be kind to each other. That's the crucial component. Okay? Do what, can I ask, can I, anyone ask a question? Anyone have a question? Because there's a lot to take in today. I want to hear great things about Nutley High School. I want big, big things happening from all of you. Any questions? Who has a question? Somebody here. So I can hear. With the lips. You have a question for me? No? Are you happy? You're in a good relationship? You're not in a relationship? Why not? There's a lot of guys here. I see a lot of guys. What's going on? to come to, go to your principal's office, get one of those applications. We need your help. 
We need your help to reach younger students in elementary school at an early age to talk about character, to talk about many of the things that Ms. Ziegler talked about. She, she's living the life now because she rose above a lot of problems and difficulties, and none of us are immune from that. And we don't want to see you go down a path that would hurt you and hurt your uh, family and hurt your future children. So, Ms. Ziegler, I tell you, you got a busy schedule. She didn't bat an eyelash when I asked her if she would come to speak to Nutley. And you know what her words to me were? Is that the Nutley High School that everyone is talking about with regard to one of the best schools in the state of New Jersey. She said that to me. You've got a reputation. <laughs> Let's give Bentley High School a big round of applause. This is your school. Finally, one more big thank you. A good hearty and healthy thank you to Vicky Dirk.
tell you. Even famous people act badly sometimes too.